guys, I get a lot of interesting emails, and one that just pops up quite frequently, and it's a very good question, is tell me about balance and ununs. Which one should I use for which antenna? And what is that thing actually doing to make the antenna work? Well, we're going to give a real simplified answer to that and kind of explain at a basic level what a balance and an unun does for an antenna. Stick around. the question about balance and ununs very good question you know i i kind of want to simplify it i put that put together kind of some thoughts and some notes because i want to make this as simple as possible without overthinking it a lot of times you see uh, videos or even text and written things that um you know for a new guy for a, a tech or an operator or someone studying to uh to start building antennas it can be a little overwhelming i'm gonna be honest with you a lot of times people want it to be overwhelming you know what i mean they're like look how smart i am i want to show everything i can i'm not a guy i'm gonna break this down as basic as we can i'll go over some of the uh, notes i did i really want you to have a good understanding of what an unun or a balance in an antenna system is doing what is an unun or a balance it's a transformer basically it's all about antenna impedance matching you're trying to match that antenna to the coax so at the point where the feed point where they match together you want it to match it's very important that an antenna impedance is properly matched to its feeder and there are several techniques that can be used antenna tuners matching stubs antenna couplers matching units i got a few here this is a you know, some older uh, antenna tuner uh here's a old 10 tech uh antenna coupler that i have these are all can be used and adjusted to build an antenna or used as an antenna tuner. But we really want to talk about those transformers themselves. You know, the ununs, balance, ununs and balance, that type of thing. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about ununs and balance. You know, balance and ununs are used to match the feed point impedance of an antenna to the transceiver's coax, thus providing a match, resulting in low loss and good SWR, what we need, our low SWR, what we need to transmit. To explain what's happening, let's take a look at the classic in-fed half-wave antenna. At resonant frequencies that we want to use, the feed point impedance measured in ohms for a half wavelength is about 2,450 ohms, whereas most of the coax we use in ham radio is generally 50 ohms. Where the coax meets the end of the antenna is referred to as the feed point. And at this point is where we want to get as close a match as possible in ohms between the antenna and the coax. With that known, if we take a 2,450 ohm antenna feed point impedance and divide it by 50, the coax impedance, we get 49. Wow, magic number there. Thus, the antenna's impedance is 40 times, 49 times greater than the coax impedance. This is where we take a transformer and match the two together. Thus, a 49 to 1 transforms the antenna high impedance down to 50 ohms for a good match, somewhat perfect match. This is the general principle, and it kind of, hopefully that really clears it up for you. Now let's talk about balance versus ununs. You know, which, which application we use which in. Uh, basically, we'll start off with balanced antennas. Balanced antennas and the use of balance. Balanced antennas are electrically symmetrical and do not rely on a connection to the ground. An ordinary dipole is a good example of a balanced antenna. Using a one-to-one -one balance, this simple but effective antenna is typically almost perfect match at the feed point. Thus, one-to-one -one is the transformer ratio, and a balance is not always required, but aids in the balance and prevention of RF in the coax feed line. You can also take a look at my um, video on RF chokes and go deeper into that subject if you'd like. Another balanced antenna is a delta loop. The delta loop with this antenna, the feed point impedance, is typically about 200 ohms. So you guessed it, 200 divided by 50 equals 4. And we use a 4 to 1 balance for this balanced antenna. So there you go. That kind of explains a balance and what you use for. Basically, a lot of times we use it for dipoles, delta loops, some other applications, but those are balanced antennas. Let's talk about unbalanced antennas and the use of ununs. 
Unbalanced antennas are asymmetrical and rely on the ground, such as a vertical antenna operated against a ground plane, random wire verticals, as well as other types of antennas that require a match at the feed point. Let's take a look here at the random wire antenna. And uh, this thing is easy to build. Uh, basically, it's not a random wire, though. The wire lengths do matter. But what we're trying to do is take a wire or a driven element and find it at points of different frequencies where at the feed point, we reach a feed point impedance of roughly three to 600 ohms. At this point, we use a nine to one un, -un and get as close as we can of a match to the 50 ohm coax. Usually with these types of antennas, you also have to use an antenna tuner or an antenna tuner is nice. Now these antennas could also be a resonant uh, sometimes on one or two bands um, without the antenna tuner and a nine to one on un um, There's a lot of popular sizes for these 41 feet antennas, 35 and a half feet antennas. Uh, another great one that I like to use is a Ribikoff antenna. And for some of the shorter ones, we like to use a four to one on un I know with the, uh, the Ribikoff, the 25 foot Ribikoff antenna, as well as the uh, what I call the 17.5, another antenna that I built recently. Um, a 4 to 1 on, on, on these antennas works well. It gives us a good match. And with an antenna tuner, we can get a uh, you know almost a, a perfect match at the feed point um, after we've uh, put this all together. You know, it's, it's pretty simple. I, I hope that kind of gives you an idea of what an on, on or a balance is. Just basically think about that math equation, this simple one, the simple uh, one. Uh, uh, four to one, uh, 200 ohms to 50 ohms at the feed point, four for 200, one for 50. And it's it's really that simple. You know, like I said, I just wanted this to be a simple overview of um, of basically what ba balance and ununs are, because I get, I get this question a lot, a whole lot, and there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's, you know, people just starting into the hobby don't understand these transformers and what they do. And it can be somewhat quite confusing. And like I said earlier, I'm sure there's going to be drive-by engineers that are going to tell me everything I missed. I mean, there's, there's, I'll mention a few things, and I want you, if you're just getting into uh, HF and building antennas, I want you to keep looking deeper into this subject, into uh, resistive elements, uh, loss. Uh, loss is a big one is for, when building antennas with transformers and non-resident antennas. Uh, look into loss resistance. Reactive elements, there's another one. Uh, current versus voltage, it's another one, especially with transformers. It's, it's a little bit more knowledge and a little bit deeper path to go down. Antenna efficiency, you know, it's, it's really stuff to, to study. But to get started with, basically just look at an impedance match. That's what ununs and balance, those transformers do. It's an, an impedance match at the at the feed point basically it's an antenna adapter it's got one part of the antenna to the other and adapts it together and forms it it transforms so you have a nice flow basically 50 ohms or whatever you know one one quick thing too i didn't mention antenna tuners antenna tuners do not tune the antenna they're basically tuning that coax and that feed point from the antenna side so really calling it an antenna tuner it's kind of a misnomer they're really and they're tuning the feed point as well. Anyway, I hope that helps some people. I had, a, like I said, a recent email, and I said, I promise I'll make a video on it real quick to answer the question, because it would be a long-winded uh, email. Actually, that, what I just read was part of what I started typing an email to answer it. I said, you know what, this would make a good video. I'll do it. Anyway, if you're into building antennas, um, simplifying things and not overthinking ham radio, then please like and subscribe. I enjoy it. I'm an engineer by trade, but I'm a structural engineer. So for me, it's kind of something new and exciting too. I like to research and look in the part of the, of the hobby with RF and RF engineering, that type of things and learn myself. And I do videos as I'm learning and it, it helps me to learn. If you want to learn, come along with me. Please like, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm Walt K4 OGO. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching the video. 73, my friends.